Good afternoon from the Kennedys. I'm going to show you a, a way to prepare butternut squash. Apologies for being grungy. I've been outside painting all day. and It's 90 something degrees. To start with, cut your ends. Both your ends. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to slice it in half. Perfectly in half. Then I will skin the outer skin to where it's all this dark orange color yellowish orange then I've got the spoon I'll scoop the seeds out I've got this bag here to put my trash in and it will be dumped outside I've got a certain spot outside that food scraps like this get dumped in and it's good for the ground and eventually stuff will just start springing up out of that spot but I've got these four butternut squash here. And then I'm going to cut it into little bitty pieces. I'll put a little butter, a little seasoning, and I'll stick it in a pan like this. And I'll do 400 degrees for 20 minutes. After that, I take it out, I drain the excess butter. And I will put it on a cooking sheet with non-stick foil and lay it out flat, one single layer, and bake it at 425 for another 15 minutes with whatever other seasonings I want to put on it. And this makes it to where it's tender, but the outside is not crunchy, but crisp. That's the only way I can explain it. And it, it makes butternut squash really good you can season it a couple different ways i'm going to be using garlic salt onion powder and cavender's greek seasoning uh, i've also done a butter cinnamon sugar mixture with a little nutmeg uh, ginger you know you can make it sweet or you can make it seasoned it doesn't really matter which way just your preference I base it off of what I'm fixing it to go with. Um, I'm actually making this dish for the neighbors. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the basic seasoning of the onion powder garlic salt. Um, it, it can also be made as a dessert. It's, it's really good. It can be made to be almost like sweet potato pie. So, And this, this butternut squash, it will keep for a long time shelf life this isn't even refrigerated i can leave that sitting there for a couple months and it'll be absolutely fine so this is a good produce to grow because it's, it's real hardy it's got a thick skin the only problem you really might have is the squash bugs but uh, i'm gonna get to it and make this for the neighbors hope you have a good day